Welcome back to my channel. Today is my first day of my junior year in college. It is October 9th and if you guys don't know, I do go to the Fashion Institute of Design and Merchandising. The way my college is set up is quarter systems. So that's why I'm starting so late and my classes were not offered in the summer quarter. So I've had since the end of June till now off for summer vacation. So I've had a long four months of summer vacation and I'm finally starting my junior year. So today I wanted to do a little get ready with me. I did this neutral soft glam for the first day. I am a beauty merchandising and marketing major. So a lot of you might be watching and be like, what the heck, like you're getting this dressed up for college. My school is a little bit different and first impressions are really important. So I got really put together. I'm wearing this corduroy pink dress from Fashion Nova, which I'm sure you guys will see like a picture or if you haven't seen it in my try on haul or I'll try and get like a clip for you guys and I'm pairing it with these booties yes so this is like a comfy casual outfit for me for school but yeah so be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and also leave a comment down below on your thoughts let me know what grade you went into I know it's a little late so I know you guys are already probably in your first or second month of school already but let me know how it's going so far be sure to turn on my post notifications so you don't miss out on any of my posts and also subscribe to my channel it is such a fun time around here I would love it if you stuck around but yeah without further ado please keep on watching okay so I have my base done and we're gonna get started with the eyes the eyes are gonna be the focus for today's look I got inspired by Desi Perkins I'm just gonna insert a picture here because my phone's over there but in a few of her pictures I was really captivated by her eyes because she had like a deep set cut crease but it was like super natural and smoky and defined and I just thought it was super pretty so I wanted to recreate that today. It's like natural subtle glam and yeah, so today's my first day of classes I had a long four months of summer off. I'm officially a junior. Sorry if you could hear it in my voice I am a little bit sick. I got played. So I went to horror nights twice if you haven't seen that in like previous vlogs And at first I thought it was sore throat slash lost voice from screaming But days have passed and now it's kind of developing to a cold. So that's just great. Also, sorry if you could tell my bed I'm doing doing laundry right now. I'm multitasking so that when I come home from school, my laundry is all done and my sheets are fresh. But yeah, so I'm going to be using this Ice Cream Shop palette by Jadez Beauty. I love this palette. I used it before. This is kind of like my go-to palette when I want to do something, a look like this. Yeah, so I'm not really going to explain what I'm doing today just because it's kind of self-explanatory. You can watch and learn and this tutorial has been done plenty of times before. But yeah, so I'm actually really really excited about school and I do want to do an updated video on fit on my school the Passion Institute of Design and Merchandising so I am excited to be starting my junior year and I'm trying to have a different outlook this year because this is my last year going officially on campus. I am continuing to do my bachelor's degree, but thankfully I can do that all online. So basically, this is my last year of going to school ever. And that's kind of bittersweet. I was talking to someone who has already graduated from college the other day, and they were telling me to enjoy it because like they miss it so much, and like you're going into the real world after, and like it's officially like adulting, adulting. So I'm just trying to appreciate it and I'm really excited about my classes this quarter I am a beauty merchandising and marketing major and I do want to create my own makeup line and um, be in the beauty industry for my career I just kind of want to soak in all the knowledge as stressful as homework gets and the projects and this this and that do get I do want to soak in all the knowledge because this is the last year that I'm gonna be getting hands-on experience and knowledge like that yeah sophomore year I was kind of like okay I still don't know if I have like if this is my last year or I have two more years but I was pretty much sure that I was gonna do the two years but I didn't know what to expect because it was my first year going into my major and now that I know kind of what to expect I am excited and I'm trying to have a different outlook on it want to learn not to to stress as much so let's see how efficient 
I can be at that. So super simple. Now I'm going to just cut the crease with Joseph Keller's concealer, which I don't think I reviewed in a video, but I do really enjoy this concealer. Yeah, so I'm really stressed with all the stuff that's about to come my way with school starting and I'm going to have like a lot less free time on my hands, have to go back to homework and all that kind of stuff. I've been learning a lot more time management skills and I'm more so just really excited. It is what it is. I have to go to school. I have to go to class. I have to finish my homework. So I might as well just appreciate it and know that it's my last year. Well, not so much doing homework, but at least going to campus. Next year will be a lot better for me just because not going to campus actually eliminates a lot of stress for me because I can go to events and I can still go on trips. In my school, our classes are three hours long. Some of them are even six hours long. So it's just, you know, it's kind of an inconvenience, honestly. So yeah, I'm doing a deep set cut crease. So basically what I mean by that is instead of just doing like this half of my lid, I'm going into my inner corner eyelid socket and bringing it all the way up and out from there. So this is a rough outline and then I'm going to go in with a more precise brush to really snatch that line. Yeah, but what else? Um, my apartment definitely needs some organizing. I'm a little stressed out about that because finding the time to organize is going to be a little bit of a struggle. Another thing I realized is that you also need to find time to live life. Sometimes your space might not be the most clean. Sometimes you might not be the most organized. But then it's like you also need to go out with your friends. Sometimes you can't always be like, oh my god, like I have to stay home. That doesn't so much mean find excuses not to clean, but you know what I mean. I'm kind of just like talking at this point. But yeah, so like I said in my college advice video, which if you haven't seen that, and you're in college definitely go watch that but you kind of just have to find motivation in little things sometimes so yeah i'm also going to be continuing my weekly vlogs and by the way i'm going in with orchata right now to set this but i'm gonna continue doing weekly vlogs i'm gonna try and vlog more in class and more of my homework assignments, my raw thoughts and emotions during the class process. You know, um, I kind of just want to be more real and raw with you guys and do a lot more vlogs and show you guys a lot more pieces of my life that I normally wouldn't put on camera. I'm just going to see how it goes and like the feedback I get from you guys because to me, do I really think you guys want to see me doing homework? No. But at the same time, I've noticed like on other people's channels and even like myself, I do enjoy watching that kind of content. So stuff like that is soon to come for sure. Also, I want to start doing college what I eat in a week or in a day. Probably not a day. I probably would do it in like week segmentation. And I also want to do like showing you guys my favorite uh, restaurants and stuff like that in Los Angeles. I also want to maybe do like cooking vlogs and next time I go to the grocery store I actually want to vlog shopping for groceries and then um, do a grocery haul so I'm kind of trying to transition more into lifestyle and do kind of things that will be easier also for me content wise during class y'all also another random comment I need to find the time to clean my brushes I never can find the time and then I need to do it like a day where I know I'm not gonna be wearing makeup for the next two days or at least for my everyday brushes I mean I could use other ones but I'm just anal like that and I can never find the time adulting problems for real y'all so now I'm gonna go get my laundry just so I that's out of the way and I can come back and really just focus on my makeup and not be rushing so I will be right on the elevator I was thinking about what I want to eat for dinner today I think I'm gonna get a salad as boring as that is but you know there's just days sometimes where you just be craving salad so so now I'm gonna go ahead and start taking these two deeper shades to do like a little wing I know Desi did a wing I'm not feeling a super dramatic wing today so I'm just gonna do like a little smoked out wing I'm gonna use the same brush I used um to pack on this shadow it's just the sigma flat definer brush and i'm gonna take the brown um chocolate fudge and cajeta this on the lash line i'm not really bringing it in the inner corner i'm just packing it from the middle outward and i also am going to do this on the lower lash line then i don't know if you guys remember i used to do this thing there's a siren in every video it never fails but i used to do this thing where i would stamp like an inner corner thing i'm gonna do that today it's like a little inner corner v cat eye 
I'm gonna also drag out a little bit here just to really define the eye and then I'm gonna take the same brush and connect the lower lash line with the line on the top and slightly slightly wing it out super effortless and then I'm gonna go ahead and blend I hope you can see that but as you can see it's just like the tiniest little smoky liner so it'll peek through the lashes but nothing too sharp or harsh blend it into the lower lash line and then bead out in the inner corner so as you can see that just creates a lot more definition to the eye we're gonna do this to this eye and then we're gonna pop the lashes on okay so i'm really happy with this turnout so i'm gonna just apply my lashes off camera and then i'll be back to do the rest of the face okay so these lashes are v beauty store in the style hazel i love them so much <clears throat> I've been wearing these for like a year now. Not this pair, but like this style has been one of my classics for like a year now. Um, but now I'm going to apply some Tarte Fake Away. Because that's going to continue like the doll eye effect. Especially because we have the contrast with the dark brown right underneath it. Super classic glam. And then I'm just going to cover my lash band really lightly. This eye is super matte and I want to keep it that way. However, I just want a tiny shimmer i'm using the same jada's beauty highlight palette which i love as well whenever i'm doing like a classic shimmery eye i use this i'm just gonna pop like the tiniest shimmer right in that inner corner i'm not even gonna put on any on my brow bone so now next step i'm just gonna bronze the face i'm gonna do my classic face makeup this type of glam is the type of glam that i want to do like for my next photo shoot super classic and super sultry and then I feel like it's so rare for my face makeup routine to change, but this is the Sigma Corderosa blush. I've been obsessed with this. This tone also goes really well with my dress. And for today's highlight, I'm going to use the Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Baked Powder in Highlight 1 on the tip of the nose. This little area right here. Since we have a matte eye, I'm going to go for kind of like a luminous highlight finish. And now I'm going to spray. This actually isn't Skinanemia spray. This is uh, Tarte Stay spray, but my nozzle broke, so I poured it into this empty Skinanemia bottle. And my lips now, I'm going to do in a different video, I'm going to film the tutorial for it right now on how I create the illusion of bigger lips or plump lips. So this is the final look. I am in love with it. Again, um, either go watch the lip tutorial or stay tuned for it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all so much and I will see you guys in my next video. I am now going to go off to my first day of classes. Bye everyone.